up, this your boy Dirt Red Boy Game, Lil DZ. We're right here at the biggest spot, Strictly Soul Records. We're gonna play a little rhythm roulette. Let's go. Alright, you know what it is. I'm gonna put on this blindfold right here and pick out three random records from the band. Let's go. Welcome to the studio. Something special, cool in the gang. No. It's like they all got a matching outfits with different colors. Alright. Never heard of them, but we'll see. Oh, what else we got? The Barcades as one. Wow, it's like some Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs going on. Oh, look at that. He has like a futuristic city going on in his head. Just thinking about the future. It's very uh, Illuminati-ish, Barcades as one. Well. And there's some writing here at the, in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, it says this record belongs to Dave. No, not anymore Dave. Uh, Barcades, never heard of them, but we'll see what we got on this one. Last record. Uh, the, um, the Commoders. The Commoders, Natural High. Got a bunch of dudes with froze. Usually when you see an afro on a record, you know, that's a good sign. So the promoters, I never heard of them, but I'll work with it and see what we got, see what we got going on with this one. Let's do it. Alright, beside the Sparkay's record. First. See what's up with this um, cool in the game so far. I got a couple stuff in mind I want to do with that other uh, Barcades record. Um, this record has a lot of grime on it and dirt or something right here. But the guy at the record store said that's a good thing. That just means it's extra rare. So he charged me a little bit extra more money for this one. So although he said, no, you can't play this side, you can play the other side. But this is the more expensive side, so it's better that you don't play it because the, the dirt makes it more rare. So. I'll just play the other side on this one. See what we got in this one right here. Alright, last record here. So far I'm not too impressed with what I've come across. Um, we'll see. Let's cross my fingers and hope we, fought, we got something with this one. The... The Commoders. The Commoders, wherever they are. I like what they did there. Usually I'll get the xylophone, you know, so I can find the note, whatever the record, um, whatever the note is on the record, I'll just find the note this way, you know. I think that's it.
Hey man, is there any way you can edit the edit the video so it looks like it's not taking me freaking ten hours to make this beat? Oh wow, it's tight. It's tight, right? Oh, that's fire right there. Alright. I think I'm gonna just sample this one. That sounds pretty fresh. So let's go ahead and do that. Rock with the SR10. No. No, we do. Let's get a sample real quick. Alright, so I got a couple of sounds, a uh, sample that I want to use, and uh, I got my drums on here already. You know, I, I got a, I got the TR-808 on standby all the time, because that's the quickest way to make, I mean, that's the dopest way to make a beat, so. Matter of fact, I have it on the SR-10 so much, when I turn it off, the words TR-808 are burned into the screen right here, so. That's what's up, you know, that's, it's all about that TR-808, man, can't go wrong with that, so. I got my, my, my drum loaded on here, so. First of all, before I do the, before I lay the drum track on the sound, on the, on the sequence here, I like to do the pattern on the bongos here. So I'm gonna grab my bongos and then try to get a, pa a pattern together. All right, first I'm gonna do the, the kick, you know what I'm saying? So take some dope. All right. So, all right, let me see. Snare, let me see. All right, here we go. Rhythm Roulette, hope you like the beat, you, know, you want this beat, you know, get at me, uh, you can at least a thousand bucks, you know, if you want some exclusive rights, hit me up and I'll let you know what's going on with that, alright, Little Daisy, I'm out.